And here we go. Okay, so this is match Why two of the day. We've got red fighting mongooses up for their second match. They'll be sending up digital watches first. So solo squiggly. Uh, on the other side, we have team swag going with Zot, solo Cerebella. So this is going to be a match of the solos for sure. Here we go. Hang on to your hat. Sides are swamped. Cameras rolling and Oh forget the Mizumi. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Um if anyone in chat knows what happens to red health when you swap uh, Oh, I think that there just isn't red health. It is all just disappearing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that you don't get any back for snapping against a solo. Combo. But uh, this is the most dead. How do you think that this matchup goes? Because like I assume I, I want to say Cerebella probably has better mix up close um, because she is the crazy grappler. But like, Squiggly mix is nothing to scoff at. Oh my god. Uh, Squiggly has her command grab, which kind of changes things um, because it's fast. Uh, Squiggly and does? Yeah. Is, um, are you talking about the super one or does she have a non metered one too? No, the super one. Okay. That's really all you have to worry about. Or at least that's what I have to worry about. Um, gotcha. Yeah, because Zarabella has a full options, even against uh, stance canceling. Gotcha. Or for a four, uh -oh. four frame command grab. But this even so far. Uh, did you get the lag spike there or was that just my end? I think that was just your end. Okay, good. Good. Um, also, so this match so far, like player wise, has been very oh, interesting. I, I know that Zot has been pretty. Um, Pretty active in the Discord server, getting matches in and stuff. Uh, Digital Watches, it sounds like, signed up for the league and uh, started actually playing today. However, Digital Watches has like many, many years of fighting game experience. So this is very much, uh, like you can kind of see how it's going. Um, Zot is getting a lot more combos. And as you saw, once he got in, he was able to make a lot more of it. Uh, but I, I while Digital Watches was, like, playing neutral, he was successfully, like, poking around and getting a lot of hits still. Yeah, they, well, I, I think it, the, the situation at the end there kind of describes the whole match. Uh... Yeah, Digital Watches was always was... just, like, kind of on the back foot, but still holding They got around. one combo. Till, uh, one yeah. One zero combo. And the little cornered um, and grindered. Well, no, no, no. Um, wasn't so much of a. They pushed left, and then Vibe got the command grab. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, no, that was a really good call out on the push block, because that's the one that has the dead zone up close, so that had to be yeah. a push block call out. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I keep wanting to say an entire skeleton, because uh, Digital Watches is borrowing their roommate's computer. <laughs> But what do you think Digital Watches needs to do here uh, in neutral, assuming that they're not going to pick up a combo mid-match, <laughs> uh, to kind of get back in this and control space a bit better? I think baiting one of her anti ears might help. Also, um, in this case, um, Vibe is throwing out tip, th is throwing out uh, that, that's yeah, he's doing lot. that on block quite a bit, and that's definitely unsafe. Um, so he's kind of I getting think, away with it because the punishes aren't too hard. Yeah, but... so like, I think, well, the plan right now is just rely on these punishes, get the corner, play patient, block, hope the grabs yeah, running don't up come. Like that's probably not a good idea. Although, um, I'm not the one with years. Well, I have, <laughs> I have like a couple years, but not uh, a lot. Question, is that move a reversal? Do you know? The like the slow punch because that's the like I've seen a couple if moves go through that now. Okay. And it's only the heavy version. Gotcha. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So far this is looking a lot like last match. Um, things are very close. The only difference is from last match this went directly into the corner. <laughs> okay. Get something started, misses the restand. stand is a little generous, but they're, they can still not work. This is, like, 
these neutral interactions are very interesting and it's pretty clear like what the thought process and decision making behind each of the players is but uh it is also very unusual to see in skill oh that's gonna be damage not quite but uh no that was well, okay did that not have been my life. yeah that was the they um i've had a touch of death there okay i or thought not so death, but like yeah enough damage on all right. Well, uh, with okay. that, Digital Watches is eliminated from this match. But the improvement in that match itself, just like across the course of the match, was pretty apparent. He was like getting, or they were getting their footing a lot more. And so that was really neat to watch. Again, that, that isn't a sort of match you get to see a whole lot in Skullgirls, because normally things are just flying around all the time. But it's really cool to watch in a game that can be as fast-paced as this, like the more like deliberate decision-making, even if that does come mostly from a place of inexperience. Yes to all of that. <laughs> okay, so next up we have uh, Chari up against DJ KK. We're gonna have another solo squiggly, this time on the other team, Team Swag. Uh, oh. Chari is a squiggly as well, but uh, Chari comes along with an Eliza and I believe a Sarabella is the third that he's been running today. Yep. Uh, another. Uh, he uses this the air grab. Uh, Excelabella, I think. Yep. Sure, yeah, that one's real good for. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Yeah, that one, yeah, never mind. I got it. Okay, sorry. Okay, so it, this is going to be a very contrasting match to the last one. Uh, Bugs Life here, DJ KK. He has said multiple times that he is not super confident in his neutral abilities, but as far as like combos and like technical play goes, that is where he thinks his strengths lie. Uh, and that's part of why he's going squiggly, is because that way he can just be like, you know what, uh, eat stancils for days. So this is going to be a very different squiggly from the last match. Uh, Chari squiggly, I don't actually know um, how comfortable he is with the stancils, because if he's doing them, they just look incredibly natural. Uh, but he has very interesting neutral decisions. And at least I thought, uh, surprisingly difficult to deal with zoning. Um. I guess he doesn't Thanks. have the assist. Elias does a lot of work on that. And... But then, you know, what does that, what does that matter when getting killed? Solo damage is going off, yeah. Not something, though. Dark Angel. So, does that, uh, do you know if that song always lasts for the same amount of time on the screen, or if you can, like, spend extra meter to make it longer or anything like that? Ooh, yeah, that is a, such a hard move to deal with. I was kind of checkmate anyways. Yeah, that was, it's one of those checkmates where technically he could have called it out with a raw super timed just right, but, like, if that's your option... It's basically a loss that you have a, like, 1 in 10 chance of stealing. Well, I mean, yeah. Steal it. Go. Mm -hmm. If it's the only option, if it, uh... Hang on, I'm hats. hoping... Uh, or rather, I aspire to be back someone back. that can just rob <laughs> games like that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's also really hard in this game, though, because you can't call out um, their specials because they can just whiff cancel it into super. But uh, anyways, so back into this match, this game two. Uh, there were a couple little unfortunate things that happened last game to Chari. Uh, it looks like one of them is about to happen again. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's, plus, that's so plus on him. Yeah, solo damage versus the... Team of three, two, like one reset. Oops, there goes a character. Okay, so... okay. They jump heavy. No, they jump heavy. Okay, that's easy. Corner stuff, jumping back. But yeah, like if you. The jump heavy kick? Office. 
just had enough frames to walk up and uh, go for a mix-up. Yeah. Squiggly has got all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh my god, okay. I didn't expect that to catch for some reason. Okay, it looks like Chari feels a bit more comfortable just playing neutral. He had a minor advantage, but just backed off instead. Uh, he's got a lot of red life on Eliza, though. This is... Uh, I early. like to see him not call assist. That's scary. Yeah. Oh, that oh no. <laughs> Came back to see devastation. Yeah, he's missing out. Yeah, okay. I, Chari... Uh, it's like path to victory here is definitely do not call assist, do not get your character killed. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, block. Yeah, just, Dark Angel. just run. Ooh, okay, that, that, was a, that was a good call up. Oh, that was a reset? Oh, okay, unfortunate drop. That but makes still. sense. That, that, uh, that command grab's really good, good. And it's really active, right? So using it for reset is pretty easy because they'll just recover into the grab. <laughs> okay, this is this is scary. This is one touch either way. Charlie's got a chance, though. Yeah, which, with Lost where the match was. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, all right, all right. Armor. Chari manages to snag that round back. It was not looking good about halfway through there, but what the comeback where there. where are we? Cause, uh, okay, uh, so this is I, I missed a little bit set between... two. Um, Zot beat Digital Watches earlier. This is now yes, going I was there into for game three for uh, Chari versus DJKK. Two, three, okay. Uh, okay. Three. Yep. okay. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Is it gonna... Whoever wins this, or whoever loses this game is out. No, I didn't think so. All right, I have no control. Without restarting the game, I have no control over the game because I don't know any of the button bindings for the menus on keyboard, and I can't get my controller to connect without restarting the game. So, uh, thankfully, I don't need to hit anything. <laughs> All right, so what do you think uh, Chari learned from that last game while making that comeback? Or what do you think DJ KK figured out not to let go, I guess? I don't it's... feel like I can say for sure the specifics of what they learned out of it, but I feel like they both learned playing around Squiggly a bit of, like, you couldn't have gone through that without learning a bit of playing around Squiggly's tools with Squiggly's tools. Mm -hmm. They were both kind of jumping around, trying to not get, like, self-recorded from bad okay. angles. That was real smart from DJKK there. He recognized what Chari's meter value was at, so he just stood right next to the, uh, sarcophagus because he knew that she had to go back there and he could get a free grab punish yeah reset he probably should have gone the other grab uh to get the corner but still a good decision chari is doing a lot better health wise right now than he has been at any point earlier in the set because so far this set has been story of cerebella getting one touched and then a 2v <laughs> <laughs> well, avoided the grab, but didn't get the punish. That, yeah, that was, was kind of a rough angle. angle. Ooh. Well, uh, there goes that, Eliza. Try to get the combo. It, 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 it's sort of, it, even with Eliza, it's sort of scary to punish that grab because you don't want to walk into it. But she definitely has the reach to just press a button. Yeah. Um, or Pierce. Her air dash is a little bit slow though, so if you're like trying to go for the super safe option, then that's yeah, that can be yeah, rough. that's fair. Yeah, because she definitely has the uh, the she definitely has the reach onto the ground with some of her grounded stuff, but uh, she wouldn't necessarily get much reward out of that. That uh, Look down Chari could have held jump there because you can jump that grab after flash. I think this might be it if DJ- Oh, no, he dropped it. That should be, yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right. So that's DJKK, right? Yeah, I have the scoreboard yep. pulled up now, so. Okay, so, uh, replace my keyboard after this. Everything is it. now up to Balfrog. He's got to take out all three members of the opposing team. He definitely had some really good stuff going in that last match. And Chari yeah. made, uh... Try made DJKK really work for it that match too. Ballfrog has some pretty solid Eliza stuff. Um, I, the uh, yeah, they, they their match with you was really solid earlier. Mm -hmm. Man, I so many heart attacks. <laughs> All right, 
So yeah, so, um, I mean, I... this will be Balfrog versus Rossbrack, uh, his originally slated opponent. If he can beat Rossbrack, then this match will continue. If not, then we have Team Swag sweeping the Red Fighting Mongooses. See, Balfrog is going to be solo Eliza, right? Don't worry. Final, final boss. Make it flashy, guys. Showtime. Jump dust. Get out of here. But so good. <laughs> uh, the Eliza oh, jump dust. Swap the sweep. Decides to just push block and stay safe. Jump dust. Get out of here. Stop the chair. Oh, there's a lot Not of really. solos to go yeah. through here. Uh, Team Swag is exclusively solos. Fresh so, one way or another, the rest of this game does not have a teammate. Overhead and... Ooh, it looks like Rossbrack uh, doesn't know the timing for Eliza because she's kind of weird to combo. Yeah, she's like a weird weight and size, right? Uh, she's a weird both. She's like tall, but also a... Uh... Yeah, she's like the size of a large, but like the weight of a mid or something. Is that it? Or is she still, like, actually really heavy? I'm not sure, honestly. Also, wow. Okay. All right. As soon as he got the hit, uh, Balfrog's definitely making this... Like, uh, this is going to be a pretty back-and-forth is... match. Balfrog's autopiloting that chair too much. That's not good to press that close. Because, like, Parasol could just tap dash and, in your and she's in your face. Oh, he like was you're, right if there. If you're gonna special cancel um, close, you want to do the light spin, I believe. Probably. I don't know if that's like punishably minus, but it's not. The light spin isn't. I I, I did practice a little bit of Eliza and learn some frame data. Okay. So that would that is my first instinct for what your like cl close on block should be to just end the string safely. Gotcha. I'm sure there's much more complicated things to do to figure out, but like in terms of in terms of special cancel chair is really bad. <laughs> All right. Overhead. Okay, so that wasn't even a wrong block. Um, that was just straight up a hidden block. I don't know if that was like, trying to jump. Or what? But because that was not counter hit for the wrong block indicator. Ooh. What a poke. Yeah, that's gonna chip kill. Alright. Possibly the last health bar here for Ballfrog. Yeah, Ballfrog's having a lot of trouble navigating the uh, parasol buttons. Once he gets in though, yeah, you, like you can see he makes this hurt. Set off heavy. More reset. That might be the health bar. Ooh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's that gonna kill. Be it. That should be it. Oh. He doesn't drop it, so yeah, three meter, three meter. Oh, okay, that was. Yeah, uh, okay, I respect probably... it. If, if it would have, if it would have closed the game, game, I would not have respected taking the reset instead of the meter. But saving the re meter for this round is a reasonable decision, I think. I, yeah, I agree. That was still really scary. Always though. burn meter, save, kill. But in this case, meter carries over. Yep. Hmm. Man, Ballfrog is just like, he hit this health Tearing bar and through. decided, never mind, I want to win. <laughs> like, and wow, uh. okay. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I said it might be the last health bar. Uh, apparently he's saving this one for next round. Yeah, not the last one anymore. Ultra what a comeback. Although it's hard, in in my experience, in my experience, it's hard to carry Ultra Instinct past uh, between between rounds. Sets. Sometimes I've yeah. done it. Yeah. All right, uh, I am going to be interested to see how Rossbrack deals with uh, a lot of these resets. Have all been DPable, and there have been no DP baits yet. Oh, so he also hasn't needed to. Yeah, there has been some awkward timings on them, which can always, especially on a charge, like on a charge character, you can't be mashing that. You've got to decide this is where the reset is. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but, you know, you can still throw that out. The, like, if they're not baiting, the worst that happens is you get your still in a combo. <laughs> Didn't take the bait. 
how close enough to punish. It's a combo wow. Yo, that combo looks so cool. Why is this cool? Yeah. Drop I, <laughs> I stand I stand by side. Eliza has fairly good Ash character energy. Ooh, yeah. Balfrog is doing fairly well on defense, but he just cannot block the Parasol uh, forward light punch. Alright, this is both characters' final health bar. At least for this set. Jump light. Break. Oh. Yeah, Balfrog could get another health bar, but. Um, well, Frost Crack. Yep. There's the DP. And the. Yep. 6 LP. It's a pretty good. Having the Jin Kisaragi overhead is pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Uh, this Actually, it's better than slow? the Jin Kisaragi overhead. Oh, it's special. I think canceled. this kills. Oh, if he could have done it into super. Ooh. All right. Bulls uh, gonna do a reset. Well, Ballfrog uh, running away with that one. Ooh. That's brilliant. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, one All more. right, so uh, Ballfrog is now up against Zot. And with that, Balfrog has prevented the first, or has prevented his team from being the first team to get swept in the Kickstart League. Yeah, a few people Hasn't have pre yet. prevented that. Quite a mm -hmm. few people have prevented that. There have been a few reverse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna hope that nothing irreparably crashes while I place something on my computer. Okay, and once again, because of the team makeups that are left alive, every match for the rest of this is going to be solos. Uh, solo Cerebella, and then if Balfrog can pull out another win here, he'll be up against a solo Squiggly. Oh, for some reason I thought he was... Uh, like, I forgot that was literally his first match. <laughs> yep, that was... Uh, He's got the gauntlet to run here. Yeah, he's pulling good stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Eliza seems like a character who has some not bad options for this matchup too, with good reach and some good multi hits. This seems like two really valuable things to have, to have against an armored grappler. Mm hmm. For sure. Uh, oh, this is not oh actually, break. speaking of grappler, we haven't seen her call Albus yet. Yeah. Uh, in either match. I don't think, I don't know, people have been pretty moving. Oh my god. So I think that might be the right choice. Oh, that should be, like, that should have enough resources to kill. Oh, that definitely people. does now. I was going to say, I will say, uh, one definite thing Balfrog needs to work on is dumping meter for the kill. There have been a couple times he's had death combos and reset them instead of just dumping super. Unless that's just like an Eliza thing. But, uh... Compared to his nah, results, that, that that's three, a pretty minor that one, complaint. That's a, it's a level 3 with good multi-hit, so it, uh... I just, I wasn't sure if it, like, normally whiffs or something. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they might be points in combos that don't work that we don't know about. This is true. This is possible. Yeah. I am certainly no Eliza expert. I'm gonna look away from my screen for just a sec. Um... Oh, there's Elvis. So, did yeah, it work? This, this is the uh, same no, problem like people are having with uh, Bale's jump. The thing to remember about Elvis, though, is also that if you can't confirm off of Elvis, it doesn't get you a whole lot. He doesn't deal damage. I mean, Eliza, or Eliza has solo pickups, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying you need to you, oh, like you kind of need to know them to. Yeah, I gotcha. No, you kind of need to know the pickup to like make it super worth using. Fair. Ooh, good air grab. Oh my gosh. Here we go, jump heavy again. Alright, let's see if uh, Zot can get... Yeah, well, I guess the pickup is just jump straight into the combo. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> it, it carries you. He delivers it straight to you on a silver platter. So, Man, it just like... whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, Vibe just... Honestly, he's blocking pretty okay. Ooh, good level three there, yeah. Good stuff. Um, it just looks like he can't get his footing in neutral. He, like, can't work around these massive Eliza buttons. 
I think that's it. Battle butt would really help. Battle butt beats a lot of these buttons. But gotcha. Oh, right. Is it a... The problem is that Eliza has a lot of multi hits, so mm -hmm. if she's hitting something that wouldn't quite reach, but does have the multi hit, you'll still oh, yeah. get slapped Probably. out of it. And if you're not if if you're not really good on uh, getting the 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 right follow up out really quick to her sprint, she can. I think all of her heavy buttons have good follow ups. Like good, just press them again. Follow ups. Gotcha. All right, so this has... is going into the final set of the night in our second match here. We've got Ballfrog versus DJ KK. Whoever wins this wins this match for their team. How do I look? Again, Solo. Solo Squiggly versus Eliza. See if the zombie can put the uh, other undead in her. Again. Yeah. Overheads of the sentry. Yep. Good, Good mashup. Yep. And I'm sure DJ KK will get this combo. Yeah. We were talking. Ooh. Okay. Light drop there, but we no. were talking earlier about how uh, DJ KK is very confident in their like technical ability, but a little bit less so in their neutral. So as long as they can get their hands on you. <laughs> Yep, good match there. And Balfrog is getting a lot of mileage off of that uh, delayed air dash overhead in the corner, off that specific setup. Yeah, that one. Er, no, sorry. The second one there that just comboed. Okay, well, Ballfrog is one game away from bringing this all the way back. Yeah, let's see if DJ We're KK can pull something here. Out. What's up, Ogre? Or, I can't speak very well, but I'm just like... I'm trying to block this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not blocking it either. Shall we dance, My strategy against this stuff has to be just uh, don't let her close enough to matter. Hey, combo starters. Minus, yep. I wonder if uh, DJ KK is feeling a bit under pressure. Because he's dropping a couple links here that I haven't seen him drop normally. But because of the stancil, Squiggly is a very link heavy character. You gotta make sure your timing's right for those. I mean, there are basic combos you can fall back on. Oh! Good stuff. Yeah, there's some basic fallback stuff, which is too early to, to whatever. But yeah, as somebody who's played primarily a character with stance cancels. <laughs> oh my gosh, also, speaking weird. of uh, clutching victory from the jaws of defeat, oh. magic pixel over here. Yeah, but it's all far one match. So it's true. You know, I, I say no. He doesn't want to give up this health bar. Yeah, no, they need to it's a whiff punish now to... Ooh! Okay, that delay on the dive kick was genius. Uh, interesting. I think this is just a chip kill, yeah. Uh, I guess Ballfrog could have supered back. All right. I have no idea what game Eliza could have even supered with to get out of there. Uh, I assume Sekhmet flies forward fast enough? E, but I think it's not. I, is it invincible or armored? <laughs> That's a good question. That's very important in mm -hmm. that situation. How do I look? It all depends on your skill. Action. All right, final game. 
Jump dust. Get the Damn giant stock side. Yeah, it looks like everyone has a hangover. Oh, yeah, that looks like different. some fire mashable. Sorry, what's up, Ebra? Everyone, everyone's burying the timing on their bursts. <laughs> Overhead. All comes down to these next couple resets. Yeah, that's gonna be for a self bar for sure. We're getting the evener. Mm -hmm. All right, final game, final round, final health bar. Everything coming down to the wire. Here. That was a dive kick. Ooh, got him crap. This won't quite kill. Squiggly doesn't have good meat. Er, but yeah, I was gonna say Squiggly. Ah! Good meter damage or not, Ooh, Squiggly didn't all right. have meter to close it. That's, oh, yep, that's what I thought was gonna okay, happen. Okay, okay. All right, DJ KK just barely squeaking that back in his favor. Ooh. Didn't even use the drag punch. Didn't even need it. What a match. All right, thanks for tuning in, you guys. That is it for us tonight. Uh, we'll have our next match, I think, Tuesday at 7 or 8. Uh, follow, and you'll get a notification for it. But yeah, thanks for coming through. These players are guys around. Up pretty monsters.